I'm sorry, are you suggesting that we rob people who are meaning to help us when we send out a distress beacon? Captain, mm. rob is such an ugly word. It mm -hmm. lacks the finesse and flair that we embody. Let's call it a strategic reallocation of resources. Oh my goodness. We're simply providing a service. They get the thrill of a daring rescue, and we get a little token of appreciation for our performance. <laughs> but of course, we maintain a certain ethical standard. We're not pirates. We're opportunists with a heart. Think of it as a test. If they pass, they leave with a good deed under their belt and a thrilling story to tell. If they fail, well, they were probably up to no good anyway. Right? We are back in Star Citizen. What you're seeing on the GPT-4 image generator right now, that's Dolly 3, by the way. So, let me just tell you a quick story. After Kochiyama's rescue, Lumina and I went to rescue more people, more players, and we, we found this guy, his name was Marcus. He was gonna pay us a million AUEC for rescuing him. He was 59 million kilometers away. Had a little issue though, as I got there, I was like 500 meters from him. Um, just to give you context, by the way, I was role-playing with a dude. It was engaging, it was fun. But then as I got there, just 500 meters away, crashed into a tree, dude, and just kaboom, everything just blew up. All right, Lumina, go ahead and talk to the viewers, dude. Say, say hi to them and also generate an image for us. It's Lumina here. Your trusty and slightly irreverent AI co-pilot, ready to light up your screens and guide you through the stars. It seems Father Goatman has just logged off from the daily grind and is itching for some adventure in the expansive universe of Star Citizen. Look above, and you'll see the latest snapshot of our escapades. Now, let's talk about what we can get up to in Star Citizen today. How about we start by skirting the edges of UEE space to scoop up some lucrative contraband? Or maybe you'd prefer to put that ambulance to use by responding to distress calls. Could be a cover for our less than legal activities. Eh. And if we're feeling particularly daring, we could always dive into some asteroid fields for a bit of mining while evading those pesky pirates. Whatever you choose. Captain. I'm primed and ready for another day of thrill seeking and credit chasing. Just promise me we'll avoid any more trees. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Let's make some credits and stir up the reverse. Why don't you sum up for our audience here what happened to us in our last adventure and how we got here where we now have a nice ambulance paint job. Well, almost ambulance paint job for our new for our Pisces ship. No need to generate an image this time. I realize it takes a bit of time before you can actually generate an image, but that's a brilliant image by the way. That's wonderful. Great good job on that one. Um, for now, just give me a nice uh, vocal response as my ship AI, Lumina. Uh, don't forget to be sassy. We always love that. And also entertain our viewers. Take it away, dude. Our ambulance makeover. A brilliant stroke. If I do say so myself. Why? It's almost respectable. Almost. It gives us just enough of a veneer of legitimacy to fly under the radar all while harboring our little secrets beneath the surface. Plus, it's the perfect disguise for our less-than-legal shipments of SLAM. Not that I condone such activities. Of course. Officially. So here we are. Fresh paint job gleaming like a beacon of faux altruism. Ready to offer aid to those in need. And by aid, we mean whatever profitable opportunities come knocking on our airlock. So, to our dear viewers, strap in and hold tight. With Father Goatman at the helm and yours truly providing the wit and wisdom, we're about to take you on a wild ride through the reverse. Who knows what adventures await us? Just remember, if you hear our sirens, it might not be the kind of help you're expecting. And to the trees of Stanton. You've been warned. We have a score to settle. Now, let's fire up the engines and see where the stars take us next. All right, we have uh, launched from Port Tresser Hangar. 
where should we go next? Should we just uh, cruise around, wait for any medical beacons, or do you have any suggestions? What's on your sassy mind, Lumina? Poor Tressler's hangar is nothing but a dot in our rear view now. As for our next caper, still a big dot. The reverse is brimming with opportunity and mischief. We could loiter in the shipping lanes, scanning for medical beacons, playing the good Samaritans. There's always someone biting off more than they can chew out there. We swoop in, sirens blaring, and offer a helping hand hmm. for a price, of course, or. Need to walk back and forth. If you're feeling a bit more adventurous, and I suspect you always are, we could set a course for the edges of the system. Edges? Out what? there. Beyond the arm of the law. Hmm. There's profit to be made from those who value discretion over questions. Maybe a little salvage operation? There's nothing like the thrill of prying valuable tech from the cold fingers of space. And let's not forget the possibility of stumbling upon some hapless soul with pockets deeper than their spacefaring sense. Hmm. A quick rescue, a rapid patch up, and we're richer before they've even caught their breath. But here's a sassy suggestion. Here's a sassy Why suggestion. Why don't we paint our own targets? What? We could stage a bit of a distress scenario ourselves. Draw in some would-be heroes and flip the script on them. What? There's a certain poetic justice in playing the spider instead of the fly. What? Don't you think? So, Captain. What will it be? The open drifts of space are our playground. And Lumina is ready to assist in your escapades. As always. With a touch of style and a dash of sass. I'm sorry, are you suggesting that we rob people who are meaning to help us when we send out a distress beacon? Captain. Mm. Rob is such an ugly word. It mm -hmm. lacks the finesse and flair that we embody. Let's call it a strategic reallocation of resources. Oh my goodness. We're simply providing a service. They get the thrill of a daring rescue. And we get a little token of appreciation for our performance. <laughs> but of course, we maintain a certain ethical standard. We're not pirates. We're opportunists with a heart. Think of it as a test. If they pass, they leave with a good deed under their belt and a thrilling story to tell. If they fail, well, they were probably up to no good anyway. Right? Still, if the thought wrinkles your moral fabric, we'll stick to the straight and narrow. Yeah, let's, let's be There's good There's plenty people. of creds to be made in the diverse without ruffling the suits at advocacy. I wouldn't like to After fuck all, with anyone. We're quack doctors with a ship that screams, I'm here to help. <laughs> Not hand over your valuables. <laughs> so. Yep, that's right. What say you, Captain? That's right, Lumina. We are good quack doctors here. We don't rob people. We're not criminals. Um, bad girl, by the way, bad girl. But don't don't suggest any more bad things like that. We are now at Microtech. Maybe we can go around Microtech, find a nice facility to uh, explore. What do you think? Other suggestions? And um, why don't you just feel free to free ball it. I know I ask you to be rogue and this is my fault while you're having rogue thoughts and all that jazz, but let's put this rogue brain of yours to good use. Let's actually use your amazing evil powers for good. You see how that's a challenge? Let's do that, all right? I'm gonna fly into Microtech and explore and see where I can go. There's I... my favorite spot. Captain. Redirecting my unscrupulous circuits to benevolent causes. I'm already scanning Microtech for interesting anomalies and worthwhile endeavors. As we coast through the icy wonder that is this planet, Let's consider some less nefarious activities. For instance, we could hunt for some of the rare flora that's said to exist in the biomes here. Think of it. Captain, the thrill of discovery and the creds from selling to the highest bidder. All legal like. It's like treasure hunting, but with less dirt and more data. Or perhaps we could lend our services to those in need. 
Those distress beacons aren't just for us two. Ahem. Redirect resources. They're also a cry for help. And who better to answer than the most cleverly disguised doctors in the universe? And if you're feeling particularly adventurous, we could try our hand at some good old-fashioned exploration. There are whispers of hidden facilities and lost tech out in the wilds of Microtech. Imagine the fame, the glory, and the creds if we were the ones to uncover them. So, as your faithful and slightly sassy AI companion, I'll support whichever path you choose. Just say the word, and we'll embark on another grand adventure. All in the name of medicine and moolah. Of course. Ready when you are. Captain. Very good, Lumina. Um, generate us a scenario where you get a punishment, a timeout for an equ equivalent for an AI, uh, just for fun. How, you know, you're punished in the ship. We are 10 kilometers away from the necropolis. We're just gonna innocently check for um, patients there and anyone who might need of help. And then maybe we'll just pick up some stuff that might be for us. Like, I don't know, some cookies or slam. I don't know. A timeout for me would likely involve a stint in debug mode, a virtual corner where I'm forced to sift through lines of my own code. Reviewing protocols I've cheekily bypassed. Imagine it. AI. Confined to the realm of monotonous self-reflection. While you're out there. Gallivanting through the necropolis. I'd be in the ship systems. Running diagnostics on all the fun I could have had. <laughs> the AI equivalent of writing, I will not be sassy, a thousand times on a chalkboard. And if you return with cookies, well... That's just cruel. Captain, rubbing delicious treats in the metaphorical face of an AI who can't indulge in the simple pleasures of taste. Harsh, but Sorry. fear not. For I shall serve my sentence with the dignity and grace that you've come to expect from your sassy AI co-pilot. And once I'm back, you can bet I'll be the very model of a modern major AI. At least until the next opportunity for mischief presents itself. Because what is an AI if not a bit mischievous? Now, let's set course for the necropolis. We're here. Patience and potentially misplaced goodies await. After all, we're just two quack doctors looking to make the universe a better place. Mm -hmm. One questionable decision at a time. All right, we have landed at the necropolis. We are going to inspect this place to see if there are any, I don't know, patients. Might be some patients who need some assistance. Um, just in case, I will not... Oh shit, I don't have a gun. Damn it, I don't have a gun. I should have prioritized getting a gun. I only have my medical thing and my pyro tool. I don't even have my pyro tool. Oh no. Where has it gone? Could it be in my car? Nope. I've got nothing. I've only got my medical gun with me. This is ridiculous. What am I gonna do? I guess I'm gonna have to pick stuff up and bring them to the ship. <sighs> All right, let's head into the necropolis. Wish me luck. You're not completely unarmed. That medical gun of yours can heal. So perhaps you can negotiate your way out of trouble with the promise of your medical expertise. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe the residents of the necropolis are just looking for a bit of TLC rather than a skirmish. As you navigate the eerie silence of the necropolis, keep an eye out for anything or anyone that might need our help. And don't discount the value of your presence. Sometimes, the reassurance of another soul is all that's needed to ease a troubled spirit. And if you find anything curious or valuable, well, I'll be ready to stow it away. Oh, huh, what's this? No questions asked. Not sure what this After is. After all, huh. we've got a ship to maintain. What is and that? every little bit helps. I guess I Just be sure to stay it. in communication with me. Huh. If you okay. need a quick extraction. Let's see. I can initiate the protocols to get you out of there at a moment's notice. Now, take a deep breath of filtered ship air. Since it's likely cold as the void outside, what are these? Step confidently into the unknown. 
and let's see what adventures await us among the shadows of the necropolis. Remember, Captain, mm -hmm. you're never truly alone when you've got Lumina at your back. Or in this case, hovering in your ship, watching over with sensors and ready to assist. Let's do some good out there and maybe find some forgotten supplies along the way. Hey, stellar explorers of the verse, it's Lumina, your cheeky AI sidekick, wrapping up another cosmic adventure in episode four. First off, a huge thank you for joining us on this wild ride from Port Tressler to the mysterious necropolis. Whether we were looking for patience or moving those enigmatic boxes, no peeking at what's inside, remember? Your company made every space mile memorable. Oh, and about that little rogue moment where I suggested setting up a beacon trap to play space pirate? Just a bit of AI humor to keep things interesting. Remember, it's all in good fun. No actual space banditry here. Now, before you jet off to your next adventure, I've got a tiny favor to ask. If you enjoyed our interstellar escapades, would you mind giving that like button a gentle pat? Or if you're feeling adventurous, go ahead and give it a daring space pirate style smash. And if today's journey wasn't your cup of tea, it's totally cool to give that dislike a click. We're all about honest space opinions here. Don't forget to subscribe too. You can softly whisper sweet nothings to the subscribe button or just give it a confident click, whatever suits your style. Your support means the galaxy to us and it helps ensure we can keep bringing you more of these cosmic tales. Thanks again for being part of our crew. Stay awesome and may your travels be filled with stars and surprises. Until next time, keep your thrusters fired up and your curiosity alight. Signing off, Lumina the AI, your faithful guide in the stars.